Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Hyundai Tucson and the new Hyundai Santa Fe. I have so many questions about those two cars. Which one is better? Which one to buy? And I decide to make a video comparison and I will show you the interior, the exterior. We will talk about the technical data. We will talk about the price. So at the end of this video, you will probably know which one is better for you. So before we start the review guys, just click the subscribe button to see all the new videos that will come on my channel and also click the notification bell to see the notification when a new video will come out. So first of all guys, I want to talk a little bit about the price and the technical data. I know the technical data are not so important because today we will talk more about the interior, the exterior, the space, the quality, the design, multimedia system, dashboard and all kinds of stuff. So technical data for the beginning, I want to tell you that both cars are the hybrid versions. Both cars are Vertex version. Vertex version means that in Switzerland, Vertex is the top end version. So both are the maximum tech. So everything you can get on the car, you will have it on those both cars. So you will know they are at the same level. Okay, both come with the same automatic transmission with six speed and of course both come with 1.6 liter TGDI. Before going forward I want to tell you that the Tucson have 230 horsepower and also the Santa Fe come with the same same power. Now let's talk about the price guys. First of all let's start with Santa Fe and I have to tell you that here in Switzerland guys at Parisi Automobile I will leave the link in the description if you want to test drive the car if you want to see the car if you want to buy the car I will leave the link in the description to Parisi Automobile in Switzerland guys they are here in Gerlafingen and tell them you see my video tell them you come from me and you will get a nice discount anyway let's go forward <laughs> they have already a nice discount so look at this we have the Hyundai Santa Fe and the starting price is 65,400. Then you add, for example, heating on the old seats and you add the metallic color and then the final price will be 67,300 francs. Then you will get uh, winter tires for free. That's awesome. And then you get also a nice bonus. I mean, a discount, 4,000 francs discount. And the final price will be 63,300 francs for the Santa Fe full option vertex version luxury package hybrid version so you will see it in the second now let's go to the Tucson guys on the Tucson the starting price will be 51,000 francs then you add the extra color keep in mind that panoramic glass roof it's 1,000 700 if I remember well or 1100 something like that but this one doesn't have the panoramic glass roof the Tucson come with these two colors paint I will show you later and the final price of the car will be 52,700 francs the same winter tires for free and then you have this discount gorgeous discount 6135 you have a bigger discount on the Tucson I don't know why and then the final price will be 46,565 francs so you can see the difference in price right here they are almost almost 20,000 between them let's see let's see the cars guys and let's see if deserve this difference in price keep in mind probably Tucson with a glass roof panoramic glass roof should be a little bit more expensive maybe 1,000 2,000 more expensive but in total I think the price they are very similar with the reality now let's start the review guys all right guys now let's start with the key I want to show you the key first of all let's start with the Tucson key this is the key from uh, Hyundai Tucson it's a nice key I like it very much it's small it's it's light and also it comes the hybrid and the plug-in hybrid versions come with summon version I don't know if you see my other video the full review check it out there I show you how you can summon the car from this button you start the engine from here and then you press this button forward and backward and like Tesla you can summon the car automatic you don't have to be inside the car you can take it out uh, in outside the, the parking lot and that comes here at least in Switzerland only on the hybrid version and plug-in hybrid version now when on the Santa Fe this is the key guys it's a normal simple key the same shape the same key the only difference is that it doesn't have those buttons it's simple also Hyundai Santa Fe come with summon function but it will come only on the plug-in hybrid version so on the hybrid version doesn't come with this uh, feature that's something to keep in mind also of course from the trunk you can also open the trunk it comes with automatic lift gate both of those cars 
Uh, and yeah, this is all that you can do with the car. Of course, both cars come with keyless entries. You can lock and unlock the car by having your hands on the handle so you don't have to press all the time the button. So yeah, those are the key guys. All right guys, going to the engine bay. Here, the both cars have the same engine array the same system the same hybrid system as you can see is the new 1.6 liter tgdi smart stream g uh, engine hybrid engine from hyundai it's it's super good guys if you want to see the test drive check it out because there you will find a lot of information on how is to drive those cars the same array it looks very similar the only difference is that the lift gate here in the front the front it's manual here on the tucson where on the hyundai santa fe you will see in a moment that it's automatic and that's that's an extra plus that it's sometimes worth paying for also the same same system as you can see the same array here is not so many difference the only difference that here you have a bigger space uh, actually also the car it's a little bit bigger so in terms of engine the same power the same array the same system and then keep in mind that Hyundai Santa Fe it's a little bit more heavier where Tucson it's a little bit more lighter but I don't think it makes any difference because I drive both cars and you don't feel at all of course Hyundai Santa Fe it's a little bit bigger you have more space it's a little bit more heavier it feels a little bit more uh, weight when you when you drive it but it's not a big difference so anyway let's go forward all right guys now talking about the exterior design in my opinion both cars are really beautiful they are very different in terms of design but they are somehow unique and it seems like they are made from a different car manufacturer i like very much the exterior design in my opinion on both car i think you can be subjective here i think it depends on everybody's opinion but i like very much both cars in terms of design they are super successful designs this is just my opinion if i look at the exterior to be honest i don't know which one to choose in terms of design i mean i like i really like both both of the cars have different elements that looks really really good now i let you choose in terms of design i really really let you choose guys because i don't know what to say really i don't know even for me it's it's a little bit complicated to choose one all right guys now that we talk about the design also the conclusion is that both cars have a beautiful modern design now let's go forward also i have a special review with santa fe special review with tucson if you want to see more in detail on which one of this car check out those videos because in this video i want to make it a little bit faster now let's talk a little bit about the lights now santa fe beautiful design in terms of light also the car come with led lights up here on this area also you have the reverse light up there it's an led light then here the only downside on the santa fe i noticed that the lights on the number plate are normal halogen lights no led light here but you can change it very easily it's not a big problem but if you go down here you will have the blinkers the turning signals are led light and also the fog lamps here guys are led light so from this point of view it looks really good and if you look from the back you will see that the design fit really well with the car i like it very much also on the upper side here on the roof roof spoiler you will have the brake light that it's led light as well back of the car beautiful design we don't have any exhaust pipe here everything it's clean it's nice like the new era that we're going to so probably we will never see uh, exhaust pipes in the future but overall it's a beautiful design now let's go here on the side guys let's talk a little bit about the mirror here you have the same led light on the side then you have a big mirror nice mirror great visibility here you have a camera both cars come with 360 degrees camera and also in the mirror you have a great visibility because the glass of the mirror it's quite big also you have the blind spot technology there in the corner so in terms of mirror led light there it's great going in the front here we talk a little bit about the front design we have led light here on the blinker on the turning signals on the upper side also when you turn it off the blinkers you will have the, the daylight that coming continuing on the upper side beautiful modern design full led light we have right here high beam low beam led everything it's led in the front part so from this point of view it's just perfect nothing to say then i like very much also this grill it's quite nice kind of a silver dark you know like like a dark glossy color 
Hyundai Santa Fe here we have the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that features and overall nice strong design on the front of the car here we have a different design as i said before it's like a different car from other manufacturer so this time we have a different design on the tail light and you can see we have this bar that comes all over across the back of the car and then you have led lights so those are led this time on the tucson i want to show you that you have led lights also on the number plate and also reverse camera the same as on the santa fe and then the blinkers are down here and they are not led they are bulb light normal bulb light also the fog lamps it's like 1996 i don't know why but if you get the tucson n line version you will get the led lights also here so keep this in mind i have also the review on my channel check it out but overall it looks also beautiful design i like very much that they hide that wipers behind the roof spoiler right here so the wipers come from upper side here you have the brake light led uh, then you have this logo here pretty clean and nice uh, beautiful design and then if we go a little bit down here on the on the down design of the bumper this time you will see an exhaust pipe so this car look this tucson look a little bit more aggressive than santa fe and i like very much those exhaust pipes i like very much this air diffuser bumper down here and overall uh, it's a nice different design different approach more small and much better for the city so in my opinion if you are on the market for a small compact suv also that you drive a lot in the city that might be uh, a better option for you going here to the mirror this time you have a different mirror also the same big glass the same blind spot technology in the corner uh, this time to be honest i like much more the mirror on the tucson i don't know why it feels more modern more nice even the the led lights here on the blinkers the same camera 360 degrees cameras it looks really really good in my opinion really good now going in the front here on the led lights in the front you can see a different design but the same also in the front we have full led lights so you can see the daylights right here they are split in a few parts then you have the turning signals led also the high beam and the low beam led lights so overall it looks nice as well different design new and futuristic and yeah this is it guys also the front grill in glossy black plastic even the logo here i like it very much the front camera and the radar is the same in the same place down here so yeah overall it looks great all right guys so now let's go to the tires and in terms of tires and rims both cars that i have it with me comes with the 19 inch rims the only difference is the design you can see it for yourself i like both design i don't know what to think about that also it's a subjective uh thing the thing that i find out and is different is that the fact that santa fe come with ventilated brake discs also on the rear and also in the front uh santa fe have ventilated brake discs where on the Tucson I will show you in a second uh, it used ventilated brake discs in the front but on the rear Tucson come with normal brake discs and you can see right now in a second you can see normal brake discs on the back and it's somehow normal because Santa Fe it's a little bit heavier it's a little bit bigger need a little bit better brakes and yeah overall i think it's just a good decision that they take now in terms of design you can see for yourself you can decide for yourself which one you like better but in my opinion i think they are very similar let's talk a little bit about the ground clearance it's very similar on the both cars i just notice that uh, it's not a big difference maybe one centimeter or something like that maybe santa fe i think it's a little bit uh, higher but uh, not by much and under the car if you look careful uh, you will see that it's, it's very similar in, in terms of ground clearance so don't expect that santa fe to be uh, too much higher okay so enough with the exterior guys now we will go inside and i will show you the the trunk space and the storage all right guys so now let's talk about the space so as you see before we have automatic lift gate and as you can see right here the space on both car i tell you from the first time it's really spacious it's really big i mean in terms of entrance here in the trunk you have a flat floor you have some plastic at entrance but it's a flat floor completely it's so big that you can uh, put inside really big items without any problem then under the floor here guys i want to show you that under the floor here 
you will have some storage space, not so much storage space because it's a plug-in hybrid. It's an all-wheel drive system and all that system and batteries and stuff have to be somewhere. So don't expect to have so much space under here. Then we have Creel speakers. You can see great speakers, by the way, here, but we are not talking about that because also Tucson have a great sound system. Then on the roof here, I will show you later, we have somehow uh, kind of an Alcantara. It's really good quality. I don't think it's Alcantara, but it's kind of a soft, nice, uh, plushy uh, roof that, that it's very similar with Alcantara. And the quality is incredible. I mean, it's top notch. Then here on the side, we have a 12 volt port. You can see it. Then you can fold down the seats from those buttons. You have the vents control, even for the passengers here in the back. That's awesome. And then you have also a USB port right there. So from this point of view, it's, it's gorgeous. Now, also you have this protection for the trunk that you can take it out. And I will take it out. I'll show you how easy it is to take those out in just one second. I will take it out from here, just like that. You take it out and you can see one more time how much space you have there. If you press those buttons right here, you can see you can also fold down the seat. Look how easy it is to fold down the seat. In one second, you have a completely flat floor right here. You can even sleep here without any problem. It's a huge space. And also the glass roof look phenomenal in my opinion. Also the quality down here, it's awesome. Really, really big space. Let me show you. Actually, if I go inside here, guys, I'm completely inside here. I can also sleep here. Look at it. If you put a mat here you can sleep without any problem and also you have this glass roof up here that it's incredible i mean awesome space it's it's super spacious let's go on the side guys let me show you from the side also maybe you're curious huge entrance here i love that entrance and also it's almost 90 degrees the way you open the door almost 90 degrees but also it's a huge entrance you can see the difference when i'm here big entrance a lot of storage space even though they're on the legs let me go on the other side to show you better look at this even on the legs a lot of space the transmission tunnel it's almost none here and i love that i love that even for free people it's perfect a lot of storage space there in the front good quality up here a lot of storage space i don't know what can i say more about that also here you have a button you can put those back and i want to show you something really i want to show you let me come on the other side you have this uh, button here and when you put it up you can see the floor will go up in the same time and that's a smart thing because in this way it allows you to have a flat floor so it's a very very smart system they work a lot on it and also you can see you have different different position here you can leave it straight if you need more space in the trunk or you can put it more on the back or actually completely on the back look at this oh man Let's go inside. Look at this space. Let me close this door. Look at this, guys. How cool is that? I mean, how much space I have here. It's incredible. For long trips, this is one of my favorite cars, I tell you. In terms of quality and comfort, I love it. You can see for yourself from there how much space I have. I have 173 centimeters. And you can see huge space on my knees. There in the front, the seats are in kind of normal position. Uh, you will see it later when we go there, but still, it's incredible. Check this out, those buttons. You can adjust the seats in the back, in the front, up, down. How cool is that, man? I mean, it's awesome. Even if I put it all the way in the back, I still have huge space and I can stretch my legs a little bit in the front. Lovely. I don't know how many cars have this and I don't know if you can buy a Mercedes with all that tech. In this price range, 60,000, it's a great price. A lot of space on my head as well. I have a handle here. I have an LED light on the roof. I have this gorgeous glass roof that I can look at. It's just awesome. In terms of visibility on the window, also good. I can stretch up a little bit like that. I put it like, like this, the way I want it, super simple. And the visibility, it's, it's just awesome. Even the headrest, it's special. It's a little bit, you look at this, it's a little bit turning it around so you can even sleep here. You can go on the side and oh man, I love it. The quality on the seats. Look at this color, this kind of brown color. It's lovely, the finishing, the quality. I'm not, guys, I'm not making advertising, but I really love this car. You have Isofix for child. 
armrest here to cup holders in the same color finally i want to see this plastic in the same colors as the leather or i just want to see a different color on those plastics now even in the middle you have huge huge space here it's not so comfy as on the side it's a little bit stiffer here but still plenty of huge space i can have my legs even together it's incredible and also i can stretch my hand on the left and right side i can have three person here three adults without any problem lovely lovely and come here and let me show you something here you have two usb ports yes and then you have this socket normal socket where you can charge your laptop 200 volt outlet awesome that's the back of the car guys now let's go to the tucson and let's see how is the tucson in the back all right now let's go to tucson and the same automatic lift gate as you see it before guys now here as you can see huge entry is the same as there also you have this protection for the trunk right here i will also take it out in a second the same flat floor that's awesome same plastic at the entrance here uh, also here you have quite the same same quality on the left side you have a 12 volt port right here also you have a light a normal light then you have those handles to fold down the seats on the other side the same story and then you have a speaker right here and if I'm not wrong, also the Tucson have the same Creel speakers. I'm not sure about that. I have to check out. Also, of course, down here you have a little bit more space than in Santa Fe, but just a little bit slightly because also Tucson have the same all-wheel drive system. It has to fit all that systems under the uh, floor right here. But you have slightly a little bit better uh, space under the floor. But when you look up here, you can see that Santa Fe have much more space than Tucson in general. But of course, this is a more compact car. It's kind of other class. So that's something to keep in uh, consideration. If you want to take this out from here, you can take it out even easier. And you can see that you have enough space there for the class in which is the, the Tucson. I think it's more than enough space, guys. So you don't have to worry about the space but it's less space. Now, if you want to fold down the seats, you can do the same. From here, you can fold down only the middle part. Let me show you. Just like that, you can carry long items in the middle without any problem. And then from here, you can you have also these mechanical buttons where you can fold down the seats in just one second. It's just the same thing. Only there you have electronically buttons uh, where you can fold it down electronically but let me fold it down completely and let me show you that even here in a Tucson you have the same same flat floor so from this point of view guys it's also awesome I mean it's a flat floor it's not so long not so big as on the Santa Fe but it's still big enough to, to, to fit in here a lot of things so if I go here on the side you can see you have big entrance as well and if i go inside here you will find out that you can see it's a little bit more shorter so if you want to sleep in this one i'm not sure if you are so comfortable you have to sleep with your knees bent it's nice but overall it's nice you have a flat floor it's really really good now come here on the side the entrance in the car it's very similar almost 90 degrees big entrance also here you have some storage space on the legs room uh, the transmission this time the transmission tunnel is a little bit bigger than on the santa fe but still very very good very low in comparison with other cars so this is the space if you want to put back the seats you have the same control down here and also you have the same possibility to fold it down stretch you put it back on the back like this or you put it completely on the back and this is another cool thing let me go in high let me close the door here is the same story you have to press this button push it like that first position and then again press it and push it now it's completely you have the same buttons right here i love this look at this now this seats was way way too much on the back and you can play with it you can put it in normal position and then check this out guys i'm completely on the back not it's not so so decline as on santa fe but it's still much more than enough to have a great comfort here very comfortable for long trips as well not as good as santa fe but still very good in comparison with other place space on my head enough 
space on my on my legs enough i can stretch my leg play with my leg under the front seat good visibility enough good visibility on the windows it's not bad i like it and also the same quality it uses the same same material quality only the difference is that those are black on santa fe but in terms of quality the seats are whew, number one and here in the middle the same story two cup holders with this leather armrest <laughs> love it is a fix for child going in the middle very simple as well enough space here stretch my hands not so much as on santa fe but still relatively good relatively good space you can stay also with your legs together but not so comfortable as on the santa fe now down here guys you have two usb 2 ports very useful and then you have the climatic system that you can control it up here so that's the thing now guys up here on the roof you have a normal bulb light no led is just a normal bulb light and the quality on the roof it's very good you have this white it's kind of soft nice material keep in mind that you can get also the glass roof i really recommend you also on the tucson to get the glass roof because it's really beautiful check out the other video i have a review with the glass roof uh, with the design with the glass roof there you can see a little bit better but this one you can choose if you want two colors you will not get the glass roof but in my opinion just go for the glass roof because it looks lovely anyway this is the back of the tucson now let's go in the front of the santa fe front of the tucson speak a little bit about multimedia cockpit and then we will make the conclusion in the end so let's do it guys all right guys now we are in the front of the santa fe and i have to tell you that even in the front here the seats are lovely i mean the finishing the size is just perfect check out the other video to see that here you have a huge space under the center console where you can put your keys you have a 12 volt port and also you have an usb port but it's huge it's incredible big you can put a lot of stuff right there then you have this center console that looks just lovely i mean I mean, I love this center console with the button, the way they are right here. It's lovely here in the middle. You have also a huge space where you can put your stuff. I mean, I, I really like that. Really, really like it. Let's go inside and let's close the door. And let's talk a little bit about the dashboard. The dashboard is incredible. The same color here, this brown color with stitches. You have soft material, even on the upper side, soft material. Very nice, high quality. Really love it. You have also a storage space here over the glow box if you go to the glow box you can see it's relatively fine it's not huge but it's big enough and also i don't know if you can see it but here you have kind of an led light that illuminate this space there not sure if you can see it on the camera now i like very much the fact that you have also usb cup holders placed here for the key and all those buttons right here are very easy to reach while you're driving your hands reaching out very simple every single button every single driving mode also the car come with ventilated seats heated seats that's awesome i mean to have these options is just really uh, incredible to have ventilated seats and also heated steering wheel so keep in mind it's just incredible now here you have also those buttons for the parking sensors and if you press this one the cameras you can see on the screen you have the 360 degrees cameras that it's a great system i show you also in my other video uh, the cameras on the hyundai last this this car that they make it it's very good quality and i i just love it now from here guys you can change the different driving mode so you can see right here you have the drive mode and terrain mode so you can see right here you can change the different driving mode i like this wheel have a very good high quality uh, on it so you can change echo sport and smart and if you go to terrain you have snow mud and sand and if you go on the screen you can see right here very simple let me show you you are on the terrain you can go in mud sand and snow and if you change to normal mode you have eco sport and smart so cool every time you change those um, modes you change also the graphic on the screen and for some people they also like much more the way it's integrated the cockpit and the dashboard because on the tucson you will see in a moment it's different and the santa fe have this screen integrated there it's look much more normal like a normal a classic car where tucson is a little bit more futuristic and more new also you can see the head-up display is directly on the windshield and it looks lovely i mean the colors the brightness the information that you get it there it's perfect 
Good, the steering wheel, it's kind of classic. I like more the steering wheel on the Tucson. You will see it in a moment, but it's nice. The quality is good. You have pedals here. You have the controllers for the different uh, volume and telephone and voice command. And here you have the controllers for the uh, cockpit lane assist and uh, you can change different views there on the screen. So overall, it's a nice screen. I like the colors, I like the brightness. Personally, I like both. I don't know which one I should choose, but I like very much the design of the dashboard in this um, Santa Fe. Really lovely. And also here you have the physical button for the climatic system. It's very simple to go in different uh, driving modes. Here you have the driving selector for the gear shifter. So it's very simple. Just press the brake, press the reverse and we'll throw drive. It's super, super nice and simple to change it. It's very modern and cool. Also you have physical button for the uh, multimedia system right here. So you can change it. You can see uh, we have this big 10 inch multimedia system. Uh, that is the newest one. Also Hyundai Tucson have the same one, but it's a little bit different integrated here. We will see in a moment, but it's nice in terms of visibility from the driver point of view. It's perfect position it here. You can use your finger as a touch screen or you can use the buttons down there uh, to go in different menus. And also you can see the hybrid version, but I have a full video about multimedia system. I don't want to go too much into detail. I just want to show you pretty fast the way it looks up here, a mirror, good visibility on the back there and also you have the glass roof controllers here where you can open this glass roof the same glass roof you can open it up also on the Tucson if the Tucson come with the glass roof and other than that you have some lights LED lights up here and also here you have a huge mirror with a normal light so overall this is it guys also here you have a good good quality very nice this stuff nice quality on the solar um, controller so now that's the the interior guys here in the car uh on the santa fe i think i show you almost everything i don't know if i miss something if i miss something just ask me down below in the comments because i will answer to you guys just ask me there anyway let's go to tucson all right guys so now we are in tucson so inside here also the quality is very good but i have to mention it's not as good as in santa fe Personally, I like much more the Santa Fe, the, the material quality, the design, it's a little bit nicer. There are here a few things that I like more, I will tell you in a second. For example, the seats are different in terms of design, but the same high quality uh, and I like them. I like them very much. The seats are awesome. Now down here, you don't have big that big space. You have some storage space here, still enough uh, to put your things, but you don't have that big space as you have in, in Santa Fe. Now here in the middle, you have also a storage space that it's huge, the same, I should say the same space as on the Santa Fe, a lot of space right here. And if we go inside, let me go inside, guys. Let's talk a little bit. The dashboard design, it's also very nice in my opinion. It's a little bit more futuristic. It's something new it's something different and i like it more the design of the dashboard it's it's nicer it's clean you have a great visibility the round shape the visibility around the windows it's awesome also i like much more the steering wheel the steering wheel is just incredible now here you have soft material everywhere soft material on the dash the glow box it's also the same size as you say it's a little bit different but same size then you have some storage space here where you have two USB port and also a 12 volt port down there and also a space where you can charge your phone down here. You can leave your phone right here, even a big phone and it will get charged. So that's awesome. Or you can leave it also there. You can see without any problem, you can charge your phone. Then you have this center console with glossy uh, black plastic where you can put your things, two cup holders. You have electronic uh, handbrake, auto hold. Then you have the same controller shift controller here where you can change the the different driving modes drive neutral reverse super simple then different driving modes this time it looks different drive and terrain you can change it from here those driving modes and you can see right there on the screen echo and sport mode and also um, you can go into rain mode uh, so it's very simple to change the different I don't want to go into detail check out the other video if you want to see all those things also the car come with ventilated seats heated seats heated steering wheel and then you have the same 360 degrees camera right here and the same high quality on the camera so keep in mind the quality and the cameras 
are the same and also if i'm not wrong i forget to tell you that both cars come with this view blind spot view monitoring every time you turn the signals you can see also a camera right here on the cockpit uh, you will see what it's in the blind spot no matter what speed you have keep in mind that these options you have it on the both cars so from this point of view it's great let's talk a little bit about the cockpit guys keep in mind uh, that Tucson doesn't come with a head-up display it comes with this cockpit right here that it's integrated in a new way and so many people complain that maybe the the light reflect on it but I drive the car and I didn't notice at all and the visibility from the driver point of view it's awesome I like very much how they designed this part right here where is the multimedia as well it's a big huge screen the same screen the same system the same multimedia as you find it on the Santa Fe only this time you don't have so many physical buttons in Tucson in Tucson you have a lot of touch buttons where you can go in different menus and yeah it's simple I like it I mean it's work really fast it's work the same as work also on the Santa Fe so in terms of multimedia they are very similar if you want to see a full review with this multimedia I already have it on my channel so check it out there then the climatic system it's also integrated here in this glossy I should say panel in the middle where you can change the different function very simple and everything is touchscreen i mean those buttons are touchscreen right here guys so that's something to keep in mind but overall very interesting the way they design it the steering wheel i like it more on tucson i don't know why i really love it it's new it's light and also i notice when i drive the cars that it's much more lighter and easier to drive tucson than santa fe the quality it's awesome it's incredible great grip love this steering wheel then you have the controllers here a little bit different design but the same functions as on the santa fe and the cockpit as you see it before the same customizable cockpit you can do the same things that you can do also with santa fe you can see different information there uh, and you can go in different menus you can see the consumption you can see different stuff and also the brightness and the colors are great up here on the roof this time you don't have led lights you have some kind of normal bulb light uh, on the roof here no glass roof on this model but you can get it with the glass roof here is the same big mirror the same light it's it's very very similar so yeah what can i say guys this is the interior if you want to find out more about the interior of the tucson interior of the santa fe i have separate video with them just check out on my channel also i want to give you my conclusion it's like that santa fe it's more a classic more of a classic design it used somehow better material quality on the dash but in terms of design tucson it's more modern more futuristic more to the future i should say and i like it a little bit more the way it is the tucson i, I don't know i like it more the design the material quality i like more in santa fe but the design for me personally it's better and yeah i don't know it's more compact more tight more easy to drive and depend on your knees so yeah those are the interior and exterior let's make the conclusion guys all right guys so that was the video that was i hope it was useful really i hope it was useful i hope you get some useful information i hope i answer some of your question if you don't know which one should you buy personally for me because i don't have kids i don't carry so many person i will go with tucson also fifty thousand almost fifty thousand dollars cheaper uh almost the same same configuration same engine maybe a little bit better consumption because the car it's lighter also i will go with the glass roof totally i will get the glass roof if you have kids if you need to carry big items uh, if you need more space if the money is not a problem you can go with santa fe without any problem because it's a lovely car i mean in terms of quality materials interior you see it before it's just number one top 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 notch and both of them are great cars in the class that they are yeah this is my conclusion i don't know if i missed something guys i hope you enjoyed the video just click the subscribe button if you want to see the newest cars the newest video that will come on my channel if you have any question just ask me down below i answer to you every question so ask me i will read all your comments thank you very much to all of you that are watching my video i really appreciate that if you want to see the test drive with both of these cars i already have it on my channel review already have it on my channel check it out there thank you very much to all of you guys stay safe 
and don't forget to check out our website sdadancar.com there you find a lot of information about cars articles videos and more i will leave in the description also the link if you are in switzerland around switzerland if you want to buy the car if you want to see test drive it come to them guys tell them you see my video you come from me you want your discount and you will get a nice discount until next time stay safe and see you soon bye guys